So I'm here at Serpent Mound, <laughs> and here is the coil. This is the largest effigy mound in the world, and it starts right here at the base. Starting this coil, coiling from the heart of Gaia, weaving in and out and in and out and coming to the head, which is which is a turtle, and it points to sunset on the summer solstice. It's tomorrow. Here we are at the spiral at the base. And the snake represents, at least to me, the path of enlightenment, or the path of kundalini awakening, starting at the Koragaya, or the earth star chakra, or the root chakra, whatever you decide, from our lowest form of consciousness, collecting energy, spiraling out, and then continuing outward and it makes three bends that have solar alignments and lunar alignments the first bump aligns with sunrise on the winter solstice the second one aligns with sunrise on the equinoxes and the third one aligns with summer solstice <laughs> sunrise on the summer solstice which is Monday morning and we'll go up there to the the tower to check it out there's also moonrise alignments that go along with those bumps as we spin out of this idea of our limited physical self ebbing and flowing back and forth and back and forth emerging with the head of the snake that looks like a turtle turtle island which is what the indigenous people call planet earth as it swims slowly through <laughs> space always and ever <laughs> ascending and enlightening as the head points towards sunset on the summer solstice honoring the sun and enlightenment with the death and the rebirth because only through death of the ego our identity of the self which is an identity of separation it's an idea of separation only through the idea the death of the idea of that we are separate from all that is, can we truly unify with the sun, the light, the eternal light? So this is sunset tomorrow night. The angle, giving honor and gratitude to everyone else who has looked at this vantage point at this time of year alignment with sunrise on the summer solstice and there's the cedar tree ni akate ya ta ria rana na hata koto ria rana na ria rata the world tree ni akaha shaya ta ti ta kaya as you can see sunrise is going to be 
wakt ni katigera nana nata kitiera hasaka ati kurora ar irina no hora koto kuro koto kuro shishkona niro maybe i didn't check on the platform ni koto karo koto takara tana niar toko niar ka hasana niar ta katari arta isa ataka hana hatetito uche kawari ar nani hiri ar takana ni arata Welcoming in the height of life. Nihiki to Goro Soka na Wurate Kahasa Ara Hatakataka Nananari Eriti Arihira Nananari Arakatakaya. And here is the uh, curve for sunrise on the equinoxes. Nihakahari at Atakasa Nananiro Ushahawata to Kuro Saka Ulcha Shuuti Wiyo Noro Toto. Inviting us to balance Nihukachakara Nanani Roko Hayatati Riarataha, our idea of the self Nihakatakoro Watatuoro Shoho, and our unification and our connection to everything Nihitira Sahatikara Wara Isahatara Harakana Hayaradoko Kashishio Kotokoro. The balance of the action and the balance of the being Nihakatakara Hatana Nanare Takoho. The balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And here's the curve. It's in alignment with the winter solstice. And again, the trees have overgrown. So seeing sunrise near Kachir and Nananate Tiurto Saki Anana is not an easy thing to do. Hukata and Nahira Takayeti Tira Kachahara Nananira Roko. And it marks the beginning of winter near Kutakara Yaratana. The beginning Sakatir Taka Nananata Karriar Tata and the death. Rebirth cycle. Ne kati to kora hatata na na nati to kora kasha shishio kutara wa na na ne yaratata kacha hata aria na na aria ka. And as I walk around Serpent Mound, ne o kuto kuro wa tatara na na ihi ti hata hae. Soaking in the energy, ne o kuto ora han na na nati ti yaratata. There are many trees, and it's hard to get a connection. With the asphalt, walking on the asphalt. There's a turkey vulture flying overhead. And the sun is trying to peek through the clouds. And the mound is well mowed. And there are a lot of visitors. But by allowing ourselves to tap into the energy, we can experience the energies of the great serpent. We can tap into the energies of each individual's soul's quest to ascend. And more importantly, with our idea of separation, our own soul's quest, an idea of separation on its own path to enlightenment and unification, enlightenment of the truth that we are all one, that we are all connected. Kasahati 
karriere non ha te tiro che se se non ha nari ora tutto it is going to be difficult to see through the trees to see the sunrise sa a tira na hata katakari iri hara na na hata katakisa ata hata tika riara rasa kanana ni rokotoro takanawari ara kachi ira na hata ari kochi chukuna na nawari ara ti And as I pass the first bump, twist, that's not the coil, which is the alignment with the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, the shortest day of the year. Which marks the beginning of winter. And the land of the three dreams. The winds of the north, the people of the north, the buffalo. So the first thing that this serpent aligns with after starting at the core of Gaia is alignment with the death, the sunrise, and the winter solstice, the beginning of the death, and the beginning of the three dreams. Because the ego must die to unify this fight, this idea of separation is the first thing to let go of and now at the center of the second curve near the tukura what the tukura shashan in nioro which aligns with sunrise on both equinoxes so katia to tukara yana hayar ta hayata which is the balance so can the near to to the balance of night and day the balance of life and death and the balance of self identity and unification of all it is so and interestingly, the height of the three curves that point to sunrise on the solstices and the equinoxes are of greater height than the rest of the coils. And there is, now I'm at the the curve that's aligned with sunrise on the summer solstice which is Monday morning there's a cedar tree planted in the middle of this curve not on the snake effigy mound itself but in between in the middle of it the sacred 
cedar tree, niya kutakare hananate tikora. Protection, niya te hananate katakatakuro sukata. There are many, many <sighs> properties of the cedar, niya katiri arirak skani hi sukota wara kachichisha arira te suna hiara takayati. Kachihanaha e ata te korata. Sahani at a tika to Korovatara Wutu, Kashishu Wutu Kasahananate to Tierra, Nananate to Kutukura, Tatasanana to Tudiro Katsahananani, the Arata Kasako, her to Wurda Shishawadin, the Aratanani. The cedar tree has been <laughs> healing with mankind for. Thousands of years and yet it's so a tab or a tattoo shoo shoo. And it's what has been used <laughs> for doors on sacred temples. Naked to cut a what a tattoo is going on out to you and burned for purification. Near cut a cut a what a tear or gun and a hot tattoo or a tear at a carry and then another gear at a And interestingly, cedar <laughs> in ancient Hebrew, niyate hisakariyatata, has is, is the same root as kiter, the uh, highest sephira on the Kabbalah tree of life, niyokutukara watata, the crown, niyokutukara yadananate tikyaroto, kasasasata tikyaroto. Ni to kota hananata titi rotokata tesasasi to korotokor so atiti arata. And the ancient Sumerians, ni akatiara nanati karata kara sanani arata. Honored, ni akatiara hananate to adoroko. The cedar tree as well, hasakati arata. It's the tree of the world, ni akutokuro vata, and the abode of. Ie, niya kutukara watatatata. The divine flow, niya tukura watatata. The water, niya kutukara tatira na hata kiir skana na hata kuro watatata watiyuro. Ksakana ni niya tukura sukona na nuwa tukura tukusa. And there are many references that the Ark of the Covenant was built out of cedar. Niya kutukara hanana niya tuku. Kasahatati to carrier on a harakatuku, a watatari or sanana, so good char, a watanani, a tatara sahay to kunoto. And the cedar is <laughs> great at connecting with the higher realms and connecting with Neo Kotahara Takaskanani Aratata. The truth, our true authentic selves, our inner self, Neo Kotagara Tata, Askanani Ara. Ari hakananata tukuru tutura Kasahatara nananata titi titi titiko Kasahati etiara nananata tiara So that's why I'm here on this day. Nia tiara nata kuro tare watukuru tuku. And as I continue along the serpent, Nihasa nata kaihe sata tukuru watari arana. As I'm now traversing the straightish part, <sighs> more of the neck, but not quite the neck yet. And I'm now at a section near that is no longer 
present but used to be here near the Tisariat and Nanata Kotukura with Tatarats and Nanira Tata Kachita Rahan Nanari Kathakura with two. There's a U U shaped feature near the base of the head, a Tisariat and Nanata Kotukura to Kutu. That's where I am right now, a Sakatukura with Tatakira with Tataras and Nanira Kota. And interestingly, this was done, the survey was done by a magnetometer in 2012. But apparently I get to walk over there. And there's another cedar tree over there that is almost all but dead. And the energy traces in this area near the category I understand why it was removed because energetically it doesn't match the the energy of the mound. I get the feeling it was added by a later culture. And the energy I'm getting from this does corroborate some of the findings. That this mound is over 2,000 years old, not 500 years old, as some of the archae archaeological evidence says. It's almost like there was a handle here. Maybe because some of the uh, people carried a copy enough of that and now I'm at the base of the head as it splits off to the left and to the right up on both sides of the neck, near Hashahaya, the Araka has a good door at the Kayara Dira, near Kahara, the Hatana Yerata. And then at the head, near Katara, the Ta, the base of the head, Saara Harana Yerata Kayeti to Guru to Harateti Yerata. The head is technically independent it's like it's floating supported by its body Akarsha and then an aruku ruku titiara titiara Kasahariara kahia tiara Kachisha and an aniara tatariara tatata. And to me, that represents the mind that it is separate from the body, near Katakari had an aratokuru tuka. That we can astral travel, that our spirit, our mind and our spirit, that 
that it's not limited to the body. And there are little bumps that the head is the turtle. And there is a separate mound above the head. Pointing outside of the crown. Pointing towards sunset on the summer solstice. And to me, this represents the soul star chakra. And our access to all of spirit. And then, in alignment with the head and sunset on the summer solstice, which is still would be difficult to see, because of the trees, there is steps down to a balcony is the only thing I can call it. And as I bring up the sky map, I will uh, align it with sunset tomorrow and take a picture. And as I look west, Beetlejuice is on the horizon. Mercury and Aldebaran are just below the horizon. In the sun. This is a little south-southwest. 